We make our homes and they make us. For information about any of our interior designs of the week, visit our website at bbc.co.uk slash homes. New York, the birthplace of loft living. I always said that someday the pinnacle of my dream as an architect was to build my own house. Hi, I'm Adam Kushner. Welcome to my New York loft that I designed and built. We started this in 19, well, in some way or form, 1997, until we finally finished up in about 2004. This is, this is Adam's, you know, dream, and it's his vision. Everything in this apartment is actually modulated by a, a vertical rhythm of four foot three, I believe, which you can see in these steel posts and these seal posts actually find their way throughout the entire space. This is our cloud space and this is really meant to be very pure, it's meant to be very white, but mostly it's meant to be very safe. And I think part of that is the feeling of safety should happen while you're sleeping. So this is really all meant to be a giant metaphor for a cloud, for dreaming. You know, I like the openness of the space. I um, like the open light that we have. We have our open bathroom here. Uh, my wife and I aren't that shy. We're very comfortable with each other, in which case we really don't have a problem doing facilities that normally most people might think of as very private. I enjoy you know, a lot of the things that he has done with it, but I can't say I love it. Uh, I, I really I do love it. I mean, to me, it's sort of like inhabiting a poem. I mean, uh, not many people can say they get to do that in their lifetime. It definitely feels like certain things are not um, practical. This is being converted into an outdoor waterfall. We also have wa water for visual pleasure, which becomes a little bit of a centerpiece when we're entertaining. If you sort of just looked at it from a perspective of someone who doesn't know the apartment, I think it's a fairly dangerous place. I mean, the apartment is an amazing bachelor pad, as I've been told, but it really doesn't work as a pad for children. There's a very brief moment where we were living here alone as a couple, and then, you know, when the children came, it was a matter of, okay, What's wrong here? What, what do we have to cover? What do we have to cut off and, you know, separate from, you know, where the children can play versus, you know, where the adults can be? <laughs> okay, okay, what's in there today? Certainly, the kids aren't even allowed upstairs anymore. It's sometimes a little difficult to live around. Here you go. My wife has been really an amazing supporter and she's been behind this whole thing from the beginning a whole lot more than I think any other above the call of duty. Mm -hmm.